So I want to talk about uh, a little app that will either be huge or just a bit of fun uh, for a few weeks. It's uh, created by some British scientists at University College London and it uses sound in a clever way to transfer data from one device to another. And I'm going to try a little experiment with it here too, which you can take part in. So it's called Chirp. There it is. I've got it running on here and on here. Uh, the idea is that you take um, any piece of data. Um, I'm going to take a picture of that camera. And you put it on Chirp's cloud. And once it's on Chirp's cloud, it's given a unique address in the form of a sound tone, which you're about to hear. So here we go. And immediately, this device, which is running Chirp also, uh, gets the address of that uh, picture that I've just put there and sticks it up uh, on the screen. So, clever idea. What's it for? Well, it is a pretty speedy transfer, data transfer system between devices. Um, could it be used in other places? The, uh, the people behind it say they can imagine it being broadcast over tannoys at, at gigs. Everyone holds up their phone and they get something sent to their phone. They can see it being used uh, on the radio um, for people wanting to broadcast to thousands of millions of people all holding up the app uh, and being able to get content delivered uh, over the radio. Um, I'm going to try an experiment here in which I get you to uh, test this thing out and I want to know if you've managed to get the data that I am sending via this device. Now I'm going to put this down now because I simply want you to hear this sound, uh, open Chirp if you've got it, and find out what it tells you. So I'm going to send you three different bits of data. Here's the first one. So that's the first one. I'll do it again just in case we went wrong. Here's the second one. And again, I'll do it again. So I hope you're listening to that. And this is the final one. And again, one more go. So that's my little chirp experiment. Let me know if it worked for you.